continue with the Bible character series that we started last Sunday. Na tukanza na Naomi, tuka, tukailewana, tutafanya Naomi na Ruth at the same time. And today we want to look at Mama Naomi. That's my topic for today, Mama Naomi. Being, being Mother's Day, what better way to mark Mother's Day uh, by just looking at these three interesting women in the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 8 to 18, especially the great mother Naomi. Mama Naomi sets a very great example. Yeah, if you read from verse 8 to 18. So after staying in Moab for like 10 years, Naomi lost her husband, lost her her two sons. <laughs> she was just is in she was in a state of just giving up. You know, she had given up. She even calls herself Mara, the bitter one, you know. She has lost her husband, she has lost her two sons. She has nothing. She's left with two daughters-in-laws you know now she had that famine in Bethlehem uh, had come to an end and the Lord had blessed the land she's in Moab the, remember the cast nation now Naomi decides you know let me return home this home God has remembered us there is no more fine famine there is bread in the house of bread that is Bethlehem now, when she decides to go back, Naomi urges his daughter-in-laws. Kumbukawa, they, her two sons died, passed on. And before they passed on, they had married. Two years. The women were Opa and Ruth. Now, Naomi is here pleading and urging his daughter-in-laws, come on, don't go with me. Don't go with me. Uko nikenda ntawasaidi aje. I'm too old even to give birth to, to other sons, to give them to you. You know, according to their culture those days, it was that it was that possible. So I was like, she was like, no, I cannot go with you. Please remain here. I bless you. She even went to an extent, you know, blessing her daughter-in-laws. I bless you, my daughter-in-laws. Go back to your mother's house. Uko, may God bless you. May he bless you with other husband. You know, may, he, may God give you comfort in the arms of other husband. His mother, that part, to that part, the way she was blessing her daughter-in-laws. Go, go with the Lord. Let God bless you again. That is a great, great example to all mothers. And me being a sparing mother, you know, it, it, it teaches me something that bless bless release blessing release blessing that will you will uh, will lift other people to the next destiny release blessing bless people around you bless your children bless your sisters bless your parents bless bless everyone around you you are a mother you are a daughter you are a son i don't know who you are but what i can encourage and what we learn from naomi is that bless 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 she blessed her daughter-in-laws she asked them go back to your mama go back to your mother's house that may god bless you and comfort you in the arms of another man but you know what the first time she had these daughter-in-laws opa and ruth were like no we shall go with you no no let us just go with you she asked them again skin you are you are beautiful please go back to your mother's house hmm story now opa said said once i will go with you then change her mind later when she was asked the second time she changed her mind and like okay we are many and they watch a mini she may or may could who may be a key to you you are not even sure the opa is a good example of our generation right now who could show and come on attack a kappa i'm a kushia who could show come on taka kubakina naomi i'm a wishy in jarozako who could show come on taka kaka church i'm on taka kwenda club so leo ko church sandy ko church on a praise and worship weekdays ko club be ruth because ruth made up her mind that you know what where you go I will go. That is Ruth chapter 16, uh, verse, chapter 1, verse 16 to 18. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Where you'll die, I will die. And there I will be buried. May the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if anything but death separates me and you. That is the statement Ruth made. Naenda na wewe mam. Naenda na wewe mama Naomi. I'm going with you. I'm not leaving you. So be that truth. Be, be the Ruth. Don't be the opa. Don't changanya mind yako atileo kwa papali. Make up your mind that I'm going with you. I'm going with you. Nothing, nothing gonna change that. Thank you so much.